Okay, so here is the monster that I put together last night. The uh, JB weld is holding this piece on well from the Vulcan. I took out those cassette tape pieces. It held it in place, but it held it too far to the side where I put the screws. But man, I have messed this thing around. Try to put the master key lock on here and it hasn't gone anywhere. The cassette lock here is protecting the dart tooth up front pretty well and works great. My problem is the Mega Magnus came in the mail. Master key fits on it great, but when I try to put this on, you may notice a problem right away. If I try to prime the Magnus, and look how long this thing is. It is over a foot long. And if I prime this back, bam, no clip. And you see how far forward it goes. Now it has worked when I've taken the modulus front piece. Let's see if I can get this on without fumbling too much here. You notice the hammer in the background if I ever have to go crazy with it. I may have to flip that back around. I don't mind fumbling around with this because it shows you how much I've messed this up a little bit. But when this has been on and all the way on, I've been able to put it on, flip it, and it's worked. You can see how long it is. It does end up just short of it. Just do this real quick. Nothing like fumbling around on camera. It always makes for great footage. So that fits on pretty well. But you can see how awkward this is. This doesn't look like an underneath grenade launcher or something where you can role play it or play it off. But it does look cool, but there's a whole lot of space. So I've got those Vulcan side pieces from that one machine gun piece that I can put on the side here. It would kind of cover up how open this is. But honestly, when you look at it now, you think, you know what? I could have glued this into here when it was still a hole and it probably would have worked. But when you see, I can't even do this without causing damage. But if that was in there, it would completely hit the clip bay, even if I had it put up in here. So I may have to scrap this. This is just a monster. And when I looked at the internals on the Mega Magnus, there's just way too much going on to cut into it. I mean, the only piece you can really chop off here is the handle I cut off and a little bit of the barrel up front. So... It was a great idea. I mean, I got enough of these that I don't mind doing this to one. I can just, it might, looks kind of unique. I can probably hide it somewhere. It could be a stealth Magnus, if anything like that. It makes no sense something that large, even when I'm 6'6". Six, six. But as much as I like the idea, I'm probably going to have to scrap it, at least on this one. This does hide the big hole in the front, so this looks cool. It is a trimmed down, kind of sexy little bit long shot. I'll finish the paint job, do some detailing. And this still shoots 90 feet per second, so at least I got a good long shot out of it. But, you know, sometimes you got to admit you're, when you're beaten, I can always try and put a smaller, like, uh, find a way to put a big shock up there and get the same result. But that's it for now. Live and learn, and talk to you guys later.